What's cracking you two? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening and today we're continuing box number two from my case in part number three. So if you guys have uh, happened to miss out on parts number one and two, I'll be sure to link those guys in the description of the video. But yeah, um, let's continue on with the quarters. So we got another nine packs to be opened in this part. So I think I think these nine packs were from the back. So we'll open up these nine here. Um, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And yeah, that starts off that final pack. A final part, sorry. Cool. So we got the nine packs for part number three, and hopefully this box can continue the uh, giving us the finest of pulls because yeah, parts number one and two were pretty damn solid. Like I've been very pleased with this box so far, and I still believe that. Um, there's just going to be so many good pulls to come in the rest of this box. But yeah, first in best dressed for this code. Hopefully guys managed to get something nice from that one. Uh, be sure to let me know in the comment section below if you managed to scoop that one up. But yeah, let's see if we can kick off part number three on a high note. We've managed to do it with part, part number one and two. But let's see. So we got a Jigglypuff. We've got a Gothita. A Meowth. Loudred. Bent Spoon. Dugong, Burmy Reverse, that one's a common with Hang Down, and a Lucario Regular Rare. So yeah, this is the first part where we couldn't get some uh, first pack magic, but that is A-OK. -okay. Hopefully that is a not, not a sign for the rest of the part, and we get the finest of pulls. But let's continue on. We got Lugia Break, which was my main man in uh, pass number one. Part number one, sorry, yeah. But let's go. So we've got a Solosis. Gothita, Minchino, Wizma, Fennekin, Chinchino, Double Colorless Energy, Dome Fossil Kabuto, Minchino with Tail Smack, and a Mandibuzz Regular Rare. Has 110 HP with Bone Drop and Cutting Wind. Um, what does this say down here? It says, Watching from the sky, they swoop to strike weakened Pokemon on the ground. They decorate themselves with bones. Deadly, deadly. Mandibuzz is freaky. Freaky, freaky, freaky. But yeah, let's continue on. No, that's that's pretty freaky. So they uh go for the kill and then they decorate themselves with their uh prey. So that's that's pretty interesting. But let's go. What else does this box have in store for us? So we've got a barnacle. Snubble. Snivy. Solosis, Gothita, Altaria Spirit Link, Dome Fossil Kabuto, Wormadem, Energy Reset. What does this say? It says, put as many energy attached to your Pokemon as you like into your hand. So it's like a retrieval. So um, something's just about to get KO'd. Use your Energy Reset, get all your energies back, and then you're good to go. But we got a Mew Hollow. Wow, that's awesome. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. I absolutely adore this hollow. It's so basic, but it is so amazing. You just see that it's a hollow in the light there. But it's got 50 HP with the ability Memories of Dawn and the attack Encounter. Encounter says, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. So cool. What an awesome pull. I'm very pleased to have that. I'm very pleased. <laughs> but we got a Mal Mega Alakazam pack art next. Cool. So that is awesome. I, I absolutely adore that Mew. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of that. But there is a code for you guys. And let's see what we can get from this pack. So we have a... We've got a Bronzor. Snubble. A Burmy. Cottony. Whoops. A Riolu, Energy Reset, Pupita with Thrash, what's Fla Thrash say? Flip a coin if heads, this attack does 20 more damage, if tails this Pokemon does 20 damage to itself. Okay, Pupita get out of here, that attack is poop. We got a random receiver reverse, that's pretty cool, pretty cool. It's got Sycamore kind of just chilling on the uh, receiver, and then then a Lugia. Regular Rare, definitely my favorite regular rare from the set by far. 
So it's got um, 120 HP with the ability Pressure and the attack Intensifying Burn. So I believe this is the Lugia they made the theme deck uh, about, which is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. But next up we got the Lugia Break Packard. And let's see what this pack has in store for us. Three and two. And let's go. So we have a Carbink with Safeguard, a Burmy, Bronzor, Barnacle, Snubble, a Chaos Tower, a Zyg Zygarde with Lookout and Aura Break, Bent Spoon, a Mr. Mime, I believe that one is a rare, so we got a Mr. Mime Reverse Rare. Awesome, all them awesome. And a Zygarde EX. Wow, that is awesome. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. Check this card, guys. Wow, a perfect Zygarde EX. It's got 190 HP with Lands Pulse and Cell Storm and Lands Wrath. Wow, that is epic. That is absolutely epic. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of that Zygarde EX. Wow, that is... Yeah, that is prime. That is absolutely prime. But let's keep going. Talking about Zygarde, we've got the Zygarde pack hard. Is that a sign that we're going to go back to back right now? Can we go back to back? That is the question. But there is a code for the pull. Hopefully you guys are getting some good stuff from those pulls there. Or from the hack codes. But let's go. We've got Jigglypuff, which has a Splink and a Snivy in the background. We get Meow, Barnacle, Snubble, Snivy, Ultra Ball, Shauna, and Servine. Then we've got a Fennekin Reverse with Will-O-Wisp and a Tail Whip. That one is a common. This is the cool, cool Fennekin because it's got the Chikorita from Breakpoint just chilling there as well. And then a Carving Regular Rare. So it has the ability Energy Keeper and the attack Stone Edge. So the ability Energy Keeper says basic energy attached to your basic Pokemon can't be discarded by effects of your opponent's attacks, abilities, or trainer cards. So not bad, not bad. But definitely not as uh, OP as the uh, safeguard ability on the um, common carbine. But let's go. Third last pack in part number three is shredding. Absolutely shredding. There we go. There we go. Let's throw all that rubbish off to the side. And there we go, guys. There's another code. And let's see what this pack has in store for us as well. So we've got a Dealing, Bronzor, Riolu, Jigglypuff, whoops, taking two cards. We've got a Meowth, I don't even know where that Meowth is. A Wormadam, Zygarde, Omastar, Pokemon Fan Club, and a Mr. Mime regular rare. Not a bad art, I, I definitely don't, uh, don't mind that art. Looks nice. It looks nice. Second last pack, we have a Delphox Break pack art. So I wonder if we can get a Delphox Break. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. But let's see. Let's see. So we've got a Solosis. Like, I don't even know where the Solosis is either. It's just random. It's like, it's almost like a desert. And like, I don't know what Shelter's doing there. It looks too dry for Shelter there. But we've got a Fennekin. The Safeguard Carbink. Dealing. Minchino, Random Receiver, Helix Fossil Omanite, Shuckle, Old Amber Aerodactyl, and a Tyranitar Hollow. So cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's pretty funny. I was watching uh, uh, Unlisted to Leafs opening the other day, and um, he called this a regular rare, and um, kind of like talked about it. It's pretty funny. Pretty funny. But then in the same, um, same part, I think he mis mistook... Uh, white curum i think it was hollow to be a regular rare as well i was just like <laughs> I, I just i read the comments and it was hilarious if you guys have not seen um unless the leaves face club just walks opening it was pretty funny it was pretty funny but yeah a little bit of a story about this tire and a hollow but yeah it's pretty pretty cool it's got raging rot and dark mountain very funny i just kind of like reflect on that and i just laugh because he realized it as well like that he read the comments obviously and uh realized that he was wrong and then, um, yeah, it was, it was cool. Nothing on Endo. He, Endo's a good bloke. Good bloke. 
but yeah, we all um, all make mistakes. All make mistakes. But with my lighting, it's pretty hard for me not to tell that it's a hollow. Like literally, it just like pops off the card. That's how much light is going on right now. But yeah, we got a jiggly path. So this is the final pack of part number three, without all the backstory, backstory. But we got a Kangaskhan, a Kabuto. Jigglypuff, this one is a reverse common. And the final card from part number three is... <laughs> Snorlax. Get out of here, fatty. Like, look at them all. Are they like pushing him down a hill? Or are they just like caught up because he was rolling down a hill? I don't even know. But it says it has the attack toss and turn and the second attack, swallow. So not bad, not good. So this part wasn't too shabby by any means. Definitely not too shabby. We got three pulls out of nine packs, which is the expected one in three pack ratio, which is excellent, excellent, excellent. But we got the Tyranitar Hollow. Mia Hollow. Awesome card. I love this card. You just kind of see it's a hollow, but it pop it's, it pops to me in person. Um, and then we got the Zygarde EX, which is epic, epic, epic. So yeah, be sure to drop a like down below if you guys enjoyed today's opening of Fates Collide. Um, let me know in the comment section below about that Zygarde EX and I look forward to seeing you guys in part number four or just another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings. Thanks for watching. Peace.